although it's quite possible to edit files in the cloud, as we just did, that really does not make full use of the power of other tools that we have available to us. Um, editing text, especially complicated text, using a web editor isn't really that great. It's actually much better if we used what's known as a code editor. A code editor is um, something sort of similar to a word processor, although it has a couple important features. One thing is that um, if you save a document with an application like Word, then it saves a lot of other information in the document that uh, we can't see. And so uh, this invisible characters that are in those documents can cause havoc, uh, especially if we're trying to write something like computer programmers. So typically code editors do not add these sort of invisible characters. Uh, most computers come with a very simple editor. For example, this Mac here comes with an editor called text edit. And uh, so I can edit and save text, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really have that many features. Um, so for simple editing, it might be fine, but not, it's not so great for complicated things. So this uh, I would call a text editor. If the text editor has a lot more features, um, such as showing automatic uh, syntax highlighting and automatic text formatting, depending on the kind of document you're doing, then we tend to call it a code editor. So here's an example of how a code editor is different. This is a code editor um, that's writing uh, Python code. And so you can see that different types of text, different commands are in different colors. It also automatically manages indentation levels and things like that. There are a lot of different code editor options. There's two that I'm going to recommend uh, for these lessons here. The code editor that I use most of the time is actually the Visual Studio Code, which is also known as VS Code because it doesn't really have anything to do with Visual Studio. Um, this is a really full featured uh, code editor has a lot of powerful to tools for um, debugging different coding languages. However, the one that I'm going to recommend you use for these exercises is called Atom. And the reason for that is that Atom is actually created by the same team that runs GitHub. So it has the ability to interact in special ways with GitHub. The other thing, because we we're focusing um, early on on using Markdown, it has a really easy to use Markdown preview. So if you are editing with Atom and you want to see how the Markdown that you're writing looks, you can just open up the preview and look at it side by side as you're editing the document. And a side benefit is it also has very cute emblems as well. So what I recommend at this point is that you take a pause and either go to atom.io or code.visualstudio.com and do download and install one of these editors. And when you've completed that, we'll come back and continue onward. Uh, I will be demonstrating some things with the Atom editor.